questions. Hello everyone, my name is Angelo Pepe. Today I am in Madrid and I'm gonna do a small interview to Marcelo Luzardi. Well, here we are with Marcelo Luzardi. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? Yeah. He's been skating since I was 11. I got blind four years ago with years 18 ago. years and now I'm 22. So yeah, that's it. Wow, it's amazing. I mean, uh, you do skateboarding blind. You don't see anything and you do skateboarding. Yes. For regular people, skate, we all see with your eyes. It's kind of shocking because you don't see anything. You you can fall. You can break your body. Uh, please tell me because of course I understand. I saw you skating before and after. Um, tell me a little bit about your story. How did you start to the skateboarding? The moment you got blind and then when you finally cross the line and start to do skateboarding again. Well, as I told you before, I started skating when I was 11 because I saw like a couple of boys in my neighborhood just skating in a, in a plaza, just like that. And then when I was 18 years old, uh, I started losing sight in my right eye. And then a couple of months later, I started losing sight in the left eye. And it was like progressive losing sight uh, until I got blind. Around April 2016, I got blind. <laughs> Uh, it was like uh, a couple months uh, just in my house thinking what could I be able to do without like a sense less, you know. Yeah. And well, then I, the first day I went out of my house with a cane in my hand. I went with my friends to the plaza where we were skating in Santiago de Compostela. And well, it was like really shocking situation because they knew that I was losing sight, but they didn't know that I already went blind. They were like without words in that moment, but one of them pushed you right to yeah, the skateboard. Yeah, Rivas, he was like so hyped <laughs> and because he's a really good friend and he told me like, well, try to skate again, you know, you won't lose Anything. Lose anything but what crossed your, your mind like okay i'm gonna do skateboarding i don't see anything but i'm gonna do this can you yeah. please tell a little bit how was the that small detail like feel the board start yeah. to do skateboarding for the first time you know well first time no but like second yeah, time but I, we all when see I came anything. back yeah yeah uh, it was strange because at first i thought like how can i skate being blind it was like a strange thought to yeah. like to yeah, yeah, yeah. It's have it out of my mind. Yeah, it's completely new, I, I guess, right? Yeah, because scary. Yeah, for that time I didn't know there were like a couple more skateboarders blind in the world. And well, I went with my board the day after that, I told you before, and it was like I started from the beginning again. Like, start yeah. from, from zero, literally. Yeah, I because can imagine. I was like all the time losing my balance in the board. Yes. Start learning again. Uh, how to feel like the feet on the board, yes. like the distance between your feet. Now I I didn't I, I can't see it, so I needed to to feel it. You know to feel the distance, yeah. feel the tracks under yeah. my feet, feel the tail. Yeah, things like that. Like really strange, but with the time it was like so like a progress that was yeah, so but, satisfied for me. Yeah, but the most interesting thing is. Uh, before this and after this, you improve a lot mm. in skateboarding. Yeah. You know, because I know you from before, I know how you skate, and after all these situations, you improve a lot. How is that possible? Also, doing crazy tricks like no compliance or things like that, yeah. you know? How could you manage the board to do the tricks, yeah. land the tricks? I don't know. You improve like crazy. Yeah, because when I used to skate before getting blind, it was like, you know, I, I always loved the skateboarding, yeah. but I was like so scared about tricks, about jumping gaps, oh, okay. about. I was scared about almost any, everything except for doing flat ground tricks or like went in through downhills, you know, going fast, just, just like that. Flat ground and downhills a little bit, but so scary about all the, all the time, everything, every every spot. And I, I've never like dropped it from a quarter pipe, never done a, you know, a grind on a ledge or something like that. And when I went again to skateboarding, it was like started from the beginning, as I told you before, like flat ground tricks a little bit start like getting references in the plaza where we skate in Santiago and after I was like learning Oli again, frontside Oli, like basic tricks, I thought maybe I'm able to do something else a part of flat run tricks because I was getting so nervous because I, I was uh, knowing that the blindness it was limiting myself to do a lot of things and I was like very frustrated with yeah. that. Of course. With that concept. Yeah. yeah. And then you want to cross all that thing. And then you push yourself to do all yeah. these new 
well, I don't know how to say it, but yeah, explore this new world yeah. with your stick. Also show to us how you yeah. use your stick the because, you, cane because you. thanks to this stick, you can read everything. You can read the spot and then you can manage. Yeah. Also, I, I was speaking about this with you, like you make like a draw in your brain like about the place you scale, right? With the stick, yeah, with I the have distance. To, like, touch everything to make like the mental map. Huh? Like a 3D design, you know? I, for huh. me, it's like, okay, uh, this is like a computer, no? You make... You read everything exactly, in your brain, yeah. you save this in your in your memory RAM or whatever you can call this, <laughs> and then you are ready to do the trick. But yeah, it's, exactly. it's still crazy, you know. Yeah, it's because I have to like manage myself to have references yeah, exactly. every, everywhere I'm skating. Think exactly the possibilities that I have in a skate park or in a plaza, because for example, being blind, I don't jump gaps that I can't jump like without my board to yeah. feel the impact. If I jump back up and I don't know yeah. how high it is, yeah, of course. it's like so crazy for the impact on my back. And okay, but still, yeah. when you drop, every time you drop, uh, for example, uh, a ball or a quarter pipe, yeah. What do you feel about that? For example, in a bowl, it's like really like feel freedom because feel freedom. <laughs> now I'm like, I'm so limited because I can't go skating in the streets because there is a lot of people there and it could be like a chaos, you know, everywhere. And in the bowl, I can go fast without yeah, definitely. thinking about anything, you know, and feel free for go as fast as I want. And yeah, that's like kind of good. And for example, jumping gaps, it's scary because I'm jumping to like a kind of black hole, you know, like to uh, jump into the emptiness. Yeah, and right. Well, but it's like a great sensation when I land tricks. Of course. Of course, I don't jump like really great uh, big gaps, like as much, maybe four or five steps as much. Yeah, but it's, stairs, it's but still insane, you know. You don't know where yeah. you're gonna land. <laughs> well, well, imagine yourself skating uh, with your eyes closed and not seeing what's in front of you. That's freaking scary. <laughs> Tell me, what means skateboarding for you? You know, because yeah, skateboarding is helping you, right? It's yes. like, right now it's like everything, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Because but it was uh, what helped me to went out of depression and yeah. a really sad period of my life. And yeah, now it's like what push, like helps me to push like always to be uh, happy you know and yeah to escape and go from out that of my house yeah. Yeah, yeah focusing in new tricks and new possibilities and yeah right for a lot yeah. of people it, the skateboarding works in that way uh, forget all their problems mm. and just do skateboarding focus on something and feel the magic of the skateboarding you know yeah exactly for you also it was a big thing like the, the key the key of the went out of my problems after all this what happened you exploded in the way like you got so famous i don't know how to explain this well because yeah. internet videos or famous people is like um replying your videos your yeah, progress because, huh. well for me also it's amazing you know when you <laughs> see these videos crossing the crazy things he's doing of course impact how do you feel when now everybody recognizes you when you go in metro and i don't know old woman see you or or people watch you in the tv shows or i don't know what how do you feel about that yeah it's a strange because it's a strange, right four years ago i was like a completely normal guy you know <laughs> yes. just having my typical normal problems of everybody and yeah a couple months after starting again in you know, skateboarding being blind i uh, created my instagram account the uh, blind rider yeah, follow him the blind rider yeah a couple months after creating the account i don't know it was like a boom in the social medias one day I uh, wake up and I saw like a lot of messages from my friends in WhatsApp and they were telling me like oh my god Tony Hawk just uh, reposted a yeah, video I remember that you are in Tony Hawk's account oh my yeah. and, and also also in Trash and it was like so yeah, that crazy. was crazy that mom is like what Marcelo in Trash in Tony yeah. Hawk oh, oh my god what's going on there that was shocking for me and for everyone but yeah. oh my god uh, at the same time, I'm proud, I mean, happy for you, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's good, you cross your limits, you reach uh, new possibilities with your skateboard, you turn happy, or your life now changed a lot. Also, yeah. you told me, what do you think before and after, when you was normal and when you, well, you are still normal, but... Yeah, but yeah, yeah. with the five senses, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, you told me about that, what do you prefer now before? Well, I, I wouldn't change, like anything because I'm living like really great experiences yeah right I met my girlfriend because I'm blind and that's like 
one of the best experiences in my life. I went, I met a lot of great people because of skateboarding now. Yes. As I travel a lot to skate everywhere as, yeah. as I can. If one day I can have my side back, I would like to, of course. But I'm happy right now, I don't know, because I really get used to be, to be blind. And there are not a lot of things that I can't do that I want, you know. I still play the guitar, I still skating. Yeah. And no, my life didn't change at all. Oh, look at here. We have a... <laughs> Couple of doggy dogs. <laughs> <laughs> we are not skating. <laughs> <laughs> you are scary about dark? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow, crazy. Dark's lives. Oh my god. Crazy they, they love skateboarding. They love <laughs> the blind ride also. <laughs> I think people know already how you skate, but we should film some tricks, right? Also, we are here in Madrid. So, yeah, let's try to film something and let's talk later a little bit more, okay? <laughs> so, oh my god, this is the kind of thing we were talking about before, you know, like he's famous, everybody's now taking pictures with him, you know. He's famous, he's we're, we're here filming a line and the people, hey, please, can you please take a picture with me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, Martha, last trick's down. Francois is downhill, amazing. That's <laughs> kind of hard, right? Yeah, uh, it's hard like to land in a different like inclination that you are because to calculate that, being blind, it's so like confused yeah, to your right. body. It's like extreme, you know, jumping yeah. to the nowhere. You don't know where exactly. you're gonna fall. But yeah, very nice session, nice trees, well done. Thank you for the <laughs> for this week in your house, basically. Fuck yeah! <laughs> because well, I was in this nice in session house. today also. I hope it's going everything well in the future. I hope you yeah. reach your goals. The, so... same, the same for you, my friend. Yeah. Well, Fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> High five, man. Fuck yeah! Boom, That's boom. boom. Thank boom. you guys for watching this video. Subscribe, blah blah blah, and these kind of things. And I see you maybe in the next video. I don't know where Fuck we're gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Bye.